Do you always say please when you talk to Google? I do. It's yes. only habit. Manners. There are still many unanswered questions about how and where digital home technologies really fit into older people's lives. It's a bit daunting mm. for someone of my age when you've got all this new technology I haven't been brought up with. This film joins a group of older people on their six-month journey of living with smart home technologies in 2020. Our research team met with them in their homes in regional Australia. You do need bright lighting in, the, in your bathroom mm -hmm. at our age because you can't afford to have anything on the floor because you're easily tripped over. Gone everywhere, it's not marking out everywhere, you know. One day I said, hey Google, turn the kettle, oh, turn the jug on. Nothing happened. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> Edna and Bob, Hilda and Owen, Beryl and David, Robert, Helen and Ken, John and Shirley, showed us where smart home technologies brought new value and joy into their lives, where they became frustrated with them, where they needed support, and when they were concerned about the costs of internet access, electricity and technologies. If they're accompanied by the right social values, ethics, usability interfaces and services. Smart technologies can support older generations to stay safe, independent and actively participating as our world rapidly changes.